Well, it all started in 2010 with a, a small roadshow test, slash test, let's say, which went pretty well and we, uh, we bonded pretty strong with the team. And uh, every year has been more and more work, you know, it moved to more roadshows, a, a few uh, straight line tests, and then last year with the Abu Dhabi rookie days, and this year development driver. It's, uh, it's quite a strong relationship, I really like being in this team, so yeah, it's, uh, it's like my family here. My, um, my role at test, uh, as development driver will be um, mainly to develop the simulator this year because with the reduction of track testing, uh, we have to find other means to work. So first we'll have to focus on having a simulator that replicates as uh, accurately as possible the real car. So I'll have to give the feedback on what's the same and what's different. And then as soon as this is okay, we'll try to develop the real car through the simulator, testing new things, new parts. And um, that's gonna be my role for this year. Well, my role um, will be to develop the new engine. It's not really clear, I think, for all the teams what's going to happen exactly and what the timing will be on the new engines. Obviously, it's, uh, it's a real challenge for uh, the engine suppliers because it's a completely different engine, turbo engine, and also a, a lot much more efficient in terms of energy. Uh, so as soon as this will be on, I will um, I will drive the car to and try to develop because the obviously it's going to be a big challenge to set up these engines, one on reliability, performance, drivability. So my goal will be to do uh, the rough work at the beginning and try so that when the um, Roman and Kimi will tr get to drive the car, the engine will be developed and uh, they only have to focus on the car and not so much on the engine. Well, whether it's the first time or the th second, third time is, I mean, a Formula One car will always be a Formula One car. You know, the sound is amazing. The speed is incredible. So I think it, it's always an incredibly positive reaction uh, from people. And the difference is on a Formula One race, usually it's real, uh, real fans that know Formula One. While on the road shows, the people don't really know what to expect. And I think it's way beyond the, their expectations. And uh, the reaction is, uh, is really nice and uh, it's good to run the car properly, but doing donuts and burns, they also love that. So it's always a great pleasure and also really nice to see people happy to see the, the car. So yeah, it's a great, a great pleasure as a driver to do that. Well, I think uh, there are two, uh, two parts of the simulator. Number one, is a reduction of track testing. You know, back in the days they used to do something like 20 days of track testing, 30 days in season, while last year they had only three days. Uh, so, you know, you need to test parts. You need to test new solutions, new developments. So that's one of the big things is that you, uh, you, you, you need to test things and you need a mean to test them. And the simulator, if it's perfectly nailed on, on the on the thing and really realistic you you can you can test a lot of things the, the second part is also the cost is that as soon as the the simulator is okay you can test a lot of a lot of things at the cost that's really really small compared to testing it on the track so really if you have a good simulator today in formula one i think it's a big advantage <laughs> 